OK, let's say you have measured the uncertainty, either by looking at the scatter between independent measurements or estimating it from your measurement uncertainty. Now you have to quote it. Quote it in such a way that we can use it. That's what we're going to talk about here, quoting uncertainties, particularly the number of significant figures to be used. The classic mistake that people make is to quote numbers to far too many significant figures. The basic rule is don't quote crap. What this means is, let's say you're dividing your 1.2 by 0.9, your calculator will give you lots of decimal places. Don't write them all down. Only write down the ones that mean something. This means a bit more work for you. It saves you some writing, but it means you have to think about does this digit mean anything, but less work for the reader, because they only have to read numbers that actually are not complete crap. So what does this mean? Well, first of all, quoting your uncertainty. Um, it's usually hard to work out uncertainties. It is rare to know them to better than about 10% accuracy. So normally, it's pointless quoting uncertainties to more than 10% accuracy. So don't say, oh, this is something plus or minus 0.031946, even if that's what your calculator gave you for a standard deviation. Because if that's called one, two, three, four, five significant figures, odds are all those last four are crap. That should be written down as 0.03. So the general rule is only quote uncertainties to one significant figure, or two if the first is one, because if you've got an uncertainty like you know, 1.35, um, Changing this can make more than a 10% effect. So that would be quoted as plus or minus 1.3. So the rule is, for the general rule, only to one significant figure, that's the first non-zero figure, unless the first significant figure is one, in which case quote one more. That's the uncertainty. What value should you quote? Well, you go to the same number of decimal places as your uncertainty. So let's say you've worked out that something is, I don't know, 1.23197 plus or minus 0.02. In this case, the 0.02 is this decimal place. So you'd quote it to that decimal place. So you'd quote 1.23 plus or minus 0.02. Another example, let's say you had uh, 0.04179 plus or minus 0.013. In this case, 0.013 is at this decimal place, so it's at that decimal place. So you'd quote it as 0.04. 17 is 2, plus or minus 0.013. Notice you're quoting this to two significant figures because it starts with the 1, the first significant figure is a 1. General rule. If you follow this rule, it should stop you quoting meaningless figures. Um, we as markers get very annoyed when someone writes down 50 decimal places just because that's what your calculator gave you, even though the last 13 of them don't mean anything. These are good general rules for first year. However, be careful, there are exceptions. There are situations which you might know your uncertainty very accurately. Not many of them, but it does sometimes happen. In that case, you should quote it to more decimal places. In fact, however many you need so that they actually tell you something. The general rule still applies. Make sure you're not writing down crap. Um, any number that you put down should actually contain some information. Don't waste your reader's time by putting down numbers that don't mean anything because they're much smaller than the uncertainty.